Hello there, I'm Philip Gooden. I'm an author. I write fiction and non-fiction, and my latest book is May We Borrow Your Language. There have been attempts to create artificial languages in the hope perhaps they, that one day they might be universally spoken, but all those attempts have, have failed. Um, the most famous is probably Esperanto. Esperanto was a, crea a deliberate creation, I think towards the end of the 19th century, and it was a sort of fusion of various uh, European languages so that the creator or the theory behind it was that you took a, a bit from one language and a bit from another language and a bit from a third and a bit from a fourth and so on and you had a kind of mosaic of, of different terms which would somehow appeal to everybody because they would recognize bits of their own language in it. It had some success. Uh, there were certainly Esperanto societies but it, it's, it's faded. Um, as have all other attempts to, to make up languages. Languages have to grow from the ground up. You know, you, you can't kind of build them like a house. They actually have to grow naturally and organically out of the ground. And though there seems on the one side, on the one hand, to be a tendency to, to clump languages together and kind of a greater uniformity is sort of coming together, there's also a, a tendency in the opposite direction as well. People fight to preserve their own languages and they develop new forms of the languages that they already speak. So language never stands still. 